What is up guys? I am back with another video. Now, a little while ago, I released a video on the Bulls car charger and the number one response I got to it was how the heck did I make the animated map I showed off at the beginning of the video. So in today, I figured I would take some time and show you exactly how I did this. Now to do this, we are going to need two images of a map, one with a root and one without. Now I did this, I found these using two different ways. The first was Google Maps, and the second was actually by printing off a old school map, scanning it back into the computer, so I got exactly the same image I'd be getting with the second image. I took it out of the scanner, I drew a line on it, that would be my root, and then I re-scan it. Now this, well, it produced a little bit more work, it does produce a image which is much, much more cool and kind of genuine looking than the one you get using the, the Google Maps system. But to use Google Maps, you first wanna search for the directions between two locations. Then you're gonna take a screenshot of the image. Then you're gonna cancel the directions and take another screenshot without adjusting the zoom. Now this is critical because we're gonna have to fade between these two shots. So it's critical that everything else except for the root is exactly the same. Labeling these two files as with root and no root will make your life easier. Now we're gonna open both these files in After Effects. Now I'm using After Effects for my project. You don't necessarily have to use it. There's other ways you could do it, but After Effects is kind of an industry standard in terms of motion graphics like this. So that's what I'm using. If anyone out there has suggestions on what else to use, let me know. But After Effects is what I'm gonna be using. It is overkill. It can do way more than what we're gonna do with it but it is available on a 30 day free trial. So for anyone out there who does it, own it, don't worry. If you wanna desperately make one of these, get the 30 day trial from him, um, Adobe and give it a shot. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna load them both into the project file, and then we're gonna place them both onto the composition. The first one on top there will be with no root and that will be on top of the with root file. So what we're gonna see right now is absolutely no root showing up because we've got the image of no root on top of root. Now we're gonna add a mask. So we're gonna go up to the top here and we're gonna select the pen tool. We're then gonna make an outline around the root and then we're going to expand the mask properties and click the keyframe. This is the stopwatch beside the mask path. Now we're gonna move the time slider down on the timeline all the way to the end. This is going to be where our animation ends. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab our mask using the selection tool and we're going to move it all the way up to the end of our root to reveal our complete root. This gives us our basic animation, although we do need to go through and move around the anchor points at different points to ensure a smooth transition, make sure that the line isn't showing up at times when it shouldn't be, and it's showing up at the right angle. You can move the anchor points around so they line up at 90 degrees to the root, and you can do all of this with a selection tool. You can also add more anchor points by going up and getting the pen tool again and clicking along the root. Once you're all done and you spend some time refining the path, making timings correct and everything like that, you do end up with a really cool looking animation. Now this is absolutely awesome. You can overlay it on top of time lapses of driving, stuff like that. You can use it as a simple way to show time passing. You can fade between this and the shots out of airplane windows for really cool images of kind of the fact that you're moving between places lots and lots of great ways to incorporate this into a edit and allow you to really tell a story with what you're doing. This allows you to tell someone that you're moving between places and it's a great way to transition between two different locations in an edit. Say you're driving from a ski resort down to a lodge or something and you wanna illustrate that. This is a really cool way to do it. And again, I like it to be used with, in addition with like fading between locations or something like that, just to really start to um, animate what's actually going on and tell that story because sometimes looking at an animated map by itself can be a little bit boring. Again, if you aren't really happy with how the Google Maps outcome is, scanning an old cool map and then drawing a route on it is a lot, lot more, um, I guess, aesthetically pleasing way to go. So try that out if you're bored of the Google Maps or you could just draw some uh, lines using something like Photoshop on top of a standard map. Guys, this is another video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe. Check out my channel for lots more videos and like the video. Until next time, thank you very, very much for watching.